Let me put the timer on. Let's go. Okay, so we stopped when we have more answers than correct answers. Right. And that's a bad name. Maybe it should be matching answer. Yeah, okay. Which means the wrong one is actually no matching. Yes. But we still have the data there. Okay. So this can be like... Not a match. Right, not a match and incorrect. Yes. Or an answer. Yep. Okay. So when we say correct one, why don't we just say an answer? Mm -hmm. Okay. And correct two. Another answer. Another answer. Okay. And now it's an answer, another answer, an extra answer. I like this more. Yeah. So maybe we should rename this test with too many answers. Yes. Does this pass? Yes. Let's commit this. Improved names to clarify test intent. So now we can have another test. All right. The opposite. With too many correct answers. OK. So now we have the extra answer here. Yeah. But let's change this. Let's say one matching answer. Score is one. So let's say not matching. So the only one that match is the second one. Right. But we have an extra one here. Yeah. And this should be one. Yeah. Perfect. OK, our code here passes all the tests. Now we can commit and do some refactoring. Yeah. OK, so it proved the score function allows to compare an even data to many correct answers. OK. Now, how can we make this code more readable? I think it's fine, but what else can we do here? Right, so we can zip those. OK, if we zip, then we can reduce now. We don't need index anymore. Yeah. So here we have the accumulated score and the tuple. Right. And we need to return the accumulated value plus tuple.0 equals tuple.1. So if they are equal, I increase 1, otherwise I increase 0. Yes. OK. Don't need to mutate. OK. It passes all the tests, so we can get rid of this procedural code. Beautiful. And why don't we call this a score? Yeah. OK. It's much cleaner. Let's commit. Yes. Bye bye mutation. Replaced procedural code with a more functional approach. Yep. We are done with the basic score. We need to extract it in its own file. Which now bears the question where should this live? Yeah. <laughs> so we are done with implementing the scoring behavior. Now, where should this live? Uh, We're now in the client. Right. And who is the client here? It's the quiz app. The iOS app. Right. I really don't want this into the engine because not every client has this need. And if you want to share it at some point, we move it to a separate module. Yeah, a new framework. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So if we're going to move this to our quiz app target, let's have a look if we can build the quiz engine iOS target. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Undeclared type quiz delegate. If we forgot to add it to the target. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Classic mini heart attack, and then it's just a <laughs> checkbox. Okay, it's passing. Let's commit. Add quiz delegate to iOS target. Okay, so before we go there, let's have a look at the list. So we made this decision. It's going to be in the client. What about the delegate and data source? Yeah, we could do that as well. It would be nice to have a data source asking for an answer and a delegate telling the completed quiz answers. Right, so wh why don't we make that a challenge for our students? Yeah, that's a public code base. Yeah, exactly. And you can commit your own pull requests. Just fork the repo. And if you need any help, just let us know. Absolutely. We'll be happy to review your code there. Awesome. So we won't do this. Right. This goes away. Yep. Okay, so it's time to open the client. 
Let's open the app. Okay, first of all, let's see if we can still build after all those changes. Yeah. Okay, no build errors. That's amazing. It's running the tests. Okay. And it passes. That's good. But we have a bunch of warnings. Yeah. All the deprecated types. Look at that. Which means we have some work to do. Yep. So now we want to move the score test in our quiz app tests. Yeah. So we can create a new folder. What should we call it? Scoring? Scoring. Which is the business logic layer. Yeah. You run the test. It passes. Okay. Great. Let's commit. So moved the score test to the quiz app project, the client. Now we can move this to a folder in production. Mm -hmm. Basic score? Yeah, basic score. Should not be private anymore. Yeah, I think it should be final and internal. Okay, because it's in the same module. So we need to import the quiz app here. Yeah. We need testable because the type is internal. But if we move this to a separate framework at some point, it should probably be public. Yeah. And if we move it to a public scope in a separate framework at some point, we just need to import it normally with no testable. Exactly. So this is passing. Let's commit. Moved the basic score to production. Yeah. Okay, the timer is up. Okay, let's have a look again at the basic score. It looks good. Why don't we take the time to make this a bit generic? Right, okay. Because right now it's using string string. Yeah. Let's try. If we make it generic over a equatable type. That should do it. That should do it. It doesn't. Or that's what we thought. <laughs> okay, it doesn't know what this is. So we can say string in here. That should do it. Just to give the compiler some context. Fantastic. Make the basic score work with generic types. Look how many changes we've made in the engine and we didn't break the client. Right. It works. So next time, let's run the app. See if everything is fine. And we can replace the result and the rest of the functions. Fantastic. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.